Getting into people's business isn't what I like doing, but I do have a gift of knowing when something's wrong. So I help whenever I can, but when I can't, it just kills me. But I always knew when something was wrong, or at least I thought I did. When Lily and I caught our best friend Jake put something in my locker, I knew something was off, but I let it go. But then I actually read the note, and I should have listened to that voice in the back of my head. Because after that, everything changed. Alan, I'm sorry you had to hear it this way. By the time you read this, I'll be busy with my last job, so it's better this way. I don't really know where to start. All this has been happening for a while now. I guess it goes back as far as when my mom died. I don't know, it doesn't really matter anyway, but what does matter is what I learned after that. If God really cared about me, he wouldn't have killed my mom. When I realized this, I was never the same. Even my grades started slipping. I just wasn't myself. Jesus said that he is the light of the world. Then why is the world such a dark place? Why doesn't he care? Then I thought, <laughs> why would he? He's God. Why would he care about me and all my pain? I guess there's really no hard feelings. If he just doesn't care about me, I can't say I care about him too much either. That said, I'm sure he doesn't even care about what I'm about to do. Even if he did, there's no way he could stop me. This world has shown me it's worst and it's best. Unfortunately, they were the same for me, and I'm done waiting for it to change. I wrote this to you as an apology. By the time you read this, I'll already be gone. I just wanted to tell you, it had nothing to do with you. Goodbye.
but we caught it in time and he's gonna be okay. Do we know where the parents are? Uh, yeah, I, I told his dad he, he's on his way. So I'm not really going to beat around the bush here. Uh, this is my last time here. Um, I just I don't see a point in being here. Um, plus, uh, they're, they're early in the morning and I have to come before school. And it's just, I'm not really a morning person. Jace, so. I know you're tired, but we've got some new people here that would greatly benefit from your story. Okay, I think they would really be inspired by what you have to say. All right, well, uh, my name's Jake. A few months ago, I, uh, I hit the lowest point anyone really can. Um, my mom passed away when I was nine. And my dad shut me out. My life just sucked. And instead of asking for help, I turned to drugs. After a while, they just stopped helping. And I tried to overdose. Fortunately, my best friend found me. Save my life. The reason I asked you to share that is I think it's safe to say you're not the only one who's ever felt like that. Why don't you tell them what you're doing now? Well, a few weeks after I came back, uh, I went to school. It was great. Uh, before all this, I didn't think anyone really cared. Like, why would they? Uh, it turned out I was completely wrong. And uh, I went from thinking nobody cared having everyone coming up to me. It was like people I've never even talked to come up and swarmed. It was crazy. I didn't even think they really cared. Like, why they didn't even know me? But uh, I was so wrong. Everyone was so ex like, accepting of me and, and caring. It was just shocking to see. Well, I asked Jake to share that with you guys because I just want you to see that no matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad you feel, you can never give up. Hey Jake. Hey man, thanks for sharing. I think it hit a home with a lot of people. Yeah, and I hope it did. I, I really hope those words are really good for you guys. You see that kid over there? Maybe you can go hang out with him and talk to him a little bit. He was uh, going through a situation kind of like you. Kind of reminds me a lot of your, yourself. So, um, why don't you go take some time and spread that joy? Yeah, man. All right. All right? Yeah, see, see ya. Hey, what up?